Welcome to this week's video. I thought for today's video, I wanted to create a little bit of a summer lookbook video because I used to do these all the time and I know you guys really liked them. And I always feel like it's a real like, sorry, my dog's dragging me mad. I feel like it's a way to really deep dive into my wardrobe and really give you like all the information about everything. Um, that I've kind of worn this week. Also maybe some ways to style it up in different ways. And I think it's also a really good way to show you that there's so many things in my wardrobe that I will wear on repeat. So I thought I would do a little what I've worn this week video, give you all the information, all the details about every single thing that I've worn in the last week, show you the pictures, I've done you some videos so you can see the outfits in motion as well. And I'm gonna link everything that I can in the description box. If anything is sold out, I will try and find you an alternative. Yeah, just a very informative fashion video. So if you wanted some outfit inspo, if you're just very like wearable, casual, everyday outfits, this is the video for you, stay tuned. If you are new here, my name is Beth, I'm 37, I'm a mum of three, I'm also a stepmom, and I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos here on YouTube, and also on Instagram and TikTok, so come and follow me on there if you like to as well. And yeah, let's get straight into this summer lookbook. Okay, so I have my phone here with me because it has all of the um, outfit pictures that I've worn this week on here to rejig my memory. I've also put them on the screen for you so you can see them as well. Okay, so outfit number one. Um, I had a baby shower that I was going to. It's actually my sister-in-law's baby shower. Weather was very crazy, very, very windy, but it was also quite like a summery day. So I wanted something to wear. I had this beautiful, beautiful dress that I was sent, and it was this beautiful white maxi dress. It had the nice kind of like overlay over the shoulders and over the top, and it was just the most gorgeous, flowy, summery vibe. I felt so nice in this dress. It felt super comfortable, flattering, classy, and it was just so, so easy and lovely to wear. I got so many compliments on this dress when we were at the baby shower, and I thought, just to kind of like cash it down a bit, I wanted to wear it with some big chunky sandals, so I wore it with my Gucci sandals, which I don't think I've really shared much about these Gucci sandals on my Instagram or my YouTube, but I bought them right at the very beginning of summer. Me and Rick went shopping, and we were looking at men's shoes, and I spotted them. They're actually men's. And I was like, I love these. And I have I know now to, whenever I buy designer, I only buy something that I know is gonna go year on year on year. I do not buy trends. I do not buy the it bag anymore because I know they will literally go out of style and out of fashion like that. And they're just such a bad buy. So I saw these, I thought these are the kind of thing that are gonna just get worn over and over and over again. They're not too trendy and they're not too like in style. Anyway, so they are a men's size five and a half, I believe, because men's sizes are slightly a bit bigger. I'm usually a size six. They are so amazing. I it take, but the only thing with these shoes is it's taken me so long to wear them in. But I finally got to the point where I can wear them now, and they're super, super comfortable, and I love them. I feel like the most plain dress, whether it's a maxi dress or a shorter dress you can wear the most plain thing and then they just kind of like just give it that extra little something and oh I love them such a good buy so I wore those absolutely loved them with the dress and then I wore this little seaboard Chloe bag which again has been a really good buy for me but I have this I've had this years and it went so nice I also just chucked a camel blazer which was misguided over the top of my shoulders and yeah that was my outfit so if you have a little bit of an event coming up for summer I want a casual vibe this dress is amazing. Okay, outfit number two. I got these amazing, amazing tailor trousers. They are from Shein, and I was a little bit concerned what the fit was gonna be like. I didn't know what size to order. Get safe than sorry is always better to go up in size. I find them quite a small fit. So I got a size large. They were quite big, but I liked them like that. They were really slouchy. I wore a belt with them. And I was actually really surprised by these. They looked way more expensive than Shein. I loved them, I felt so comfortable in them. So I wanted to wear them 
with my dad's sandals, which are from Mango. They were last year's, but I will find some very similar ones, link them in the description for you. And I love this whole vibe of like tailored trousers with the dad's sandals at the minute. So, so nice. Um, and then I also got this like slouchy cardigan because I wanted to wear something that was kind of loose and like really relaxed vibes. But when I put a shirt on with the trousers, it just looked really like corporate, like workwear. And I didn't want to kind of wear that. So I put this slouchy cardigan on. It kind of gave it like a more of a relaxed, girly, casual vibe. Absolutely loved that. And then I put my little Celine belt on, which actually saying about my Celine belt. So I got the mini size in the Celine belt. Um, I got that also, I can't even remember when it was. I've worn it that many times, but I do like it. And again, I think it's one of those things that's just gonna stay in style for a long time. I really liked that. It just dressed up like the really like affordable uh, Shein outfit. And then, what bag did I put with it? Oh, and then I put my Coach Tabby bag, my Coach Tabby pillow. I got that for my birthday last year. It was an early birthday present last August and as you can tell from my Instagram, my TikTok, on my YouTube, I wear the bag religiously. I absolutely love it. I would recommend this bag to anybody. It has lasted so well. I just think it goes so well with so many different outfits. I wear it on the long strap. I wear it on the just little shoulder and it's so nice. So I got the size 26. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. So I put that really cute and casual and then I put my Ray-Ban sunglasses on and I really like this outfit. It was like an errands day, we were just running around getting loads of jobs done and I liked it. I thought it was really, really cute little outfit. Outfit number three, we went away for the weekend. We went to Norfolk and stayed in the most gorgeous little cabin in the middle of the countryside and it was so beautiful and we had a few days like exploring Norfolk, exploring the Norfolk coastline and this was the day we went to a little seaside town called Galston, which had a gorgeous big beach. There wasn't really much there. Um, we just got some food from this like Greek restaurant, which was okay. I almost, almost, almost got attacked by a seagull, but it was all good. Um, so yeah, I wore this. I actually wore this to travel down in. It was super comfy. So this little t-shirt is actually from new look but it's a perfect little like cap sleeve casual t-shirt in this gray color and then these shorts are to die for i ordered these shorts quite a while ago on amazon i wasn't sure on the fit on them i wasn't sure what they were going to be like i knew they were coming from china because the delivery on them was like three or four weeks I ordered them in white and I ordered them in grey and they are so cute. They almost look like a skirt because they're so floaty but they're also like really lightweight and really airy and something to wear, something that you can wear on a hot day and be super, super comfortable. Again, I sized up on these. I got a size large. I didn't want them fitted. I wanted them super like loose and floaty and I love them. I've worn them on repeat in both the white and the grey colour. And then same for this shirt, this striped shirt that I bought from New Look has been my most worn item in my wardrobe so far this summer. And I absolutely love it. It goes over everything. It goes with so many things and so many like different colors. Like all my wardrobe is very like neutral muted co colors. And this blue and white shirt goes with so much. I wear it. I'd say I'd wear it at least twice every single week. So if there's one thing I would recommend, go and buy this shirt from New Look. It is so good. And then these sandals are new. I got these sandals from Mango. They're these tan woven sandals. Not only are they so comfortable, but they are also like, they just look really, really classy and they go with everything because they're like the perfect tan color with this wo woven design. They were a little bit pricey. They were 75 pounds. They are leather and they're one of those things that will just go year on year. So love those too. Oh, and then bag wise, I just wore this little chain bag. I actually don't remember where this is from. I think it could be from Pretty Little Thing or maybe Misguided, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it could be from Missy Empire actually. I literally don't know. It's just a little bag, but you can get so many of these little bags all over the high street. And I just feel like, cause it's a little shoulder bag with a chain, it just adds a little bit of like, 
classy vibes and dresses the outfit up a little bit. So this was so good, I loved this outfit. And then my sunglasses were these gorgeous square Ray-Bans. I'm just wearing Ray-Bans on repeat at the moment. I've got three different styles and I basically just rotate those three sunglasses. I've loved them this summer. Outfit number four, again when we were in Norfolk, it was so hot and I bought this gorgeous sundress and I thought I'm gonna wear this sundress because we were planning on going out all day. We went exploring loads of little like villages in the Norfolk Broads, I went to the coast at Croma and got an ice cream and sat on the beach. And this dress was perfect because I thought I can get a bit of a tan on my back. My back is like a little bit dodgy at the moment. I've got some funny tan lines going on from like days in the garden. Um, so I thought it's not going to get any worse with these straps. Um, so I wore it and it was so lovely, like so airy, light, breezy, like such a dream to wear on a hot day. This is also from Mango as well. And I forgot how much I love to wear red. I know I wear a lot of neutral colours, but I love red. Red suits me and I always forget how much red suits me. So this was a, an absolutely amazing buy from Mango. I can't find it on the website, I think it must have sold out, but I could find three other dresses and a jumpsuit in the same print and this corally orangey ready print is so beautiful. So I will link those below and I will find some other like backlessy sundresses that you could also buy so you could kind of get the same vibe. On my feet, I had on my Supergar, is that how you pronounce it? I never know. Platform white trainers. Um, I took these and my sandals away at the weekend. I've actually been wearing these trainers so much. I find they go with so many outfits. They're just such a perfect like white, plain, casual trainer. Um, I love the platform on them and they're actually super comfy as well. I love the way they looked. I wore the same handbag again because I just love that it looks like effortless and like classy. So for this red mango dress, I got a size eight or a small, I can't remember exactly which one it was. And on my eyes, my Ray-Ban round, like big circular round sunglasses, which I love. Cute little claw clip in. It was just a really easy, casual outfit for a sunny weekend. Outfit number five. I got this gorgeous dress from Pretty Little Thing. I'd seen a few people wearing like gorgeous satin midi dresses with a big oversized blazer over the top and I absolutely love that look. So I picked this dress up from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a size eight and I was really annoyed actually. It was quite small. I should have got a size 10. I kind of in my head thought it's going to be oversized and like loose but it wasn't, it was actually really quite fitted. So the size eight was super tight across my boobs, which I was really, really annoyed about, but it did fit. And I wanted to wear it with like chunky trainers and a big oversized blazer. So I went for this like gray toned look. This blazer is also from Pretty Little Thing. It, it did have big, sh oh my voice. <laughs> it did have big shoulder pads in. So I cut them out from the inside because they just looked ridiculous on me. I was like, like this, it was not a good look. But once I took the shoulder pads out, I love the blazer. I got it in a UK 12. It's already oversized. I maybe should have got a 10. If you don't want it too oversized, like go for your regular size. Um, and then I wore my Balenciaga Triple S trainers, which I've not worn maybe in like a year. I've really not worn them in ages, but I love them for this kind of look with like a satin midi dress in summer. I forgot how much I love that kind of outfit. This is an outfit I've done quite a few times on repeats with different kind of like satin midi dresses in the summer and also with the pearl little like foam bag. It's super cute. Love this outfit. Just, I would say in the dress, maybe sides up because it is quite fitted and I think it would look better a little bit loose. Outfit number six, I wore this for a little shopping day. Me and Rick went shopping for the day in Norwich when we were away for the weekend and I wore this cute little rib set which has actually gone into the sale. It's from H&M. I think it's like six pounds to the bottom and six pounds to the top. So get on the H&M website, linked it below. Um, you can pick it up for a bargain at the moment. I got a size small in both and they were a really generous fit. They didn't feel too tight at all. If anything, I would say they feel a little bit, little bit big, um, but I absolutely loved them. I threw on my trusty old striped shirt from New Look. I love the way the blue went with the yellow and like the yellow creamy color. I felt super comfortable in it. I could wear like a little vest 
bralette thing underneath the crop top so that was good my mango sandals again and also this cute little string bag which i have been taking everywhere with me and i feel like it's so cute like it's such a cute little shopping bag to have and it is from morrison's of all places I just picked it up in there one day. They have these cute, really little, like, retro shopping bags, which reminded me of, like, you know when you used to watch Neighbours when you were younger and they always used to have the cute, like, string shopping bags? Anyway, if you want a cute little bag to take shopping with you and you're bored of, like, little canvas totes, get to Morrison's. They have them. I think they were literally, like, a pound or something. It was ridiculously cheap. And I've used mine on repeat. And it just went with this outfit really, really well. I absolutely loved it. Well, I think I, you'll probably notice I have been just wearing my hair religiously in a slicked back pony or a slicked back bun. Um, I think I'm just doing less heat on my hair. I'm just, just wanting to spend less time on my hair and makeup at the moment. So I'm doing super minimal makeup. My skin is like absolutely loving it. And my hair, I'm just kind of like... I'm just looking after it a lot more and I'm just doing this a lot more and like hair masking and oils. And then the final outfit of the week that I've got to share with you. I wore this yesterday and I loved this look. It felt so like 90s, so like chic, like old money vibes, clean girl vibes. It was just so comfortable to wear and it was a really warm day yesterday. Uh, but slightly like cloudy and it was so so gorgeous so first of all i got this skirt it is from shein rick freaked out when i came down in this skirt he was like babe that skirt is very very short and it's quite windy um and then i showed him it was a skirt and it had like little matching cycle shorts underneath i am loving the little skirts vibes at the moment i'm gonna get a few more i think for summer and yeah i just thought it was so cute and then i teamed it with this like it's like a really thin knitted polo top. It's from a brand called from a brand called Lily Silk, who I've actually worked with before. And they sent me this. Anne Hathaway actually has been seen in it. So I was like, if it's good enough for Anne Hathaway, um, it's definitely good enough for me. I really loved it. The quality and it was so nice. It felt so expensive. And absolutely loved it with the skirt. Again, I wore my little supergar trainers. It was just a really like chic casual yet classy comfortable outfit i was just doing like jobs and stuff yesterday running errands um when i got the air conditioning fixed on the car went to the post office and what else did i do i mean rick just went for like a little bit of brunch and stuff so it was a really cute outfit just for like just pottering about and i felt so so comfortable in it and again i just popped on my tabby pillow bag some ray band sunglasses just super easy, but it was just such a cute outfit. Let me know if you have enjoyed this video and you want me to do another one of it next week, of next week's outfit, so you can get all the links, all the information in one place. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Everything's linked in the description for you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok also, and I will see you next week. Bye. Keep losing sleep while driving in What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean